Hi, this is your host of the Bharatiya and welcome to the 2023 predictions series. And today we have with us once again, Margaret Hulen, VP of Global Marketing and Sales at Science Technology. Margaret, it's great to have you back on the show. Great to be back. Thank you, Swap. Before I ask you to pick your crystal ball and share your predictions, I will remind our viewers what is SIOS all about? SIOS makes high availability failover clustering software to protect critical applications like SQL Server, HANA, SAP, and Oracle in uh, cloud or on-premises. Excellent. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and tell us what predictions you have for us. Well, the first prediction um, is a trend of data democratization. Uh, we see this uh, has been around for a while, and essentially what that means is companies have been using complex systems like the ones I just mentioned to manage their critical data. So that might be inventory information for a manufacturing plant or transaction data for a financial services firm or retail um, point of sale information for a retailer. And those have traditionally been in the hands of very specific individuals within a company. But with the adoption of the cloud and virtual environments, more people can get to this data and use it in their day-to-day -day business um, than ever before. And that's driving a need for high availability because more people are depending on those critical applications in their businesses. So the second prediction that we have um, is that cl the cloud evaluation and um, reassessment of where their cloud stance is. So a lot of companies moved their critical workloads into the cloud because of COVID. Moving to the cloud gave them a situation where they could expand rapidly to meet the needs of the home office workers that suddenly you know, were required during COVID. And it also relieved their um, IT staff of having to go into a physical data center um, again during COVID. Well, we're returning to a much more normal work environment. And so companies are taking a step back and saying, do we really think about moving back to an on-premises environment? Are we happy where we are in the cloud? Um, do we adopt a more uh, multi-cloud environment where different workloads are in different clouds depending on the use case and the benefits therein? And they're looking for high availability solutions that will work in all of those different environments in a consistent manner so they don't have to have a different uh, high availability protection for those applications. Thank you for sharing these predictions. Uh, tell us a bit about what is going to be the focus for company in 2023, as you talked about some points, you know, cost cutting and a lot of things are there. So I want to also understand what is going to be your focus. So our focus is really going to be on cloud enablement and making sure that the ease of use is there that customers need. High availability is an intrinsically complex undertaking. Um, and we are entrusted with the availability of a company's most precious applications. And so we place that um, as our top priority in making sure that companies can set up, configure, failover, uh, maintain these systems in as easy a way and as cost-effective a way as possible. If you look at 2023, uh, what kind of challenges that you see, not you know just you know from your perspective that you want to handle, but you are seeing that, hey, these are challenges that the world will be facing and how SIOS can help them? We see that the world is facing the challenge of multiple different environments and they're worried about how to be more consistent from one to another. And so the challenge of having multiple different um, ways of protecting that data and those applications um, adds complexity. And so we're really um, seeing a lot more companies that are trying to um, be more consistent and use a, a similar or the same uh, solution for those applications. Margaret, thank you so much for taking time out today and share your predictions. Of course, uh, we'll have you back again for 2024 predictions and also kind of compare the scorecard. I didn't tell you in the beginning because I didn't want any pressure on you, <laughs> but I look forward to talking to you again soon. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.